All right, guys, I promise today you're going to see something you've never seen before. Uh, yeah, this is quite interesting, quite crazy, quite different. Check it out. What's good, guys? Welcome back to Ron's Rides. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where I have something very special here behind me. Now, behind the curtain, you could see a Alfa Romeo Giulia Ti from the 2019 model year. But really what we have here is a unique mixture between the F1 Quadrifoglio racing model and the Giulia GTA. Mixed into one livery, this thing looks crazy. So here in the United States, we never got the Alfa Romeo Giulia F1 racing model, uh, one of 10, and we never got to see the Alfa Romeo Giulia GTA and GTA M, one of 500 models. So this is your best bet is seeing something like this out on the roads that combines the best of both worlds. So here we are today to check out this Alfa Male Julia done in the F1 and GTA M livery. If you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel because when you subscribe, it helps grow the channel and I get more opportunities to get more Alfa Male Julias on the channel like this one here today. Now coming up on this thing, you already know is something quite special. This is insane. Now it starts off with the Alfa Rosso paint color, all right? So that is your gloss red look for the Alfa Romeo Giulia. And this starts life as a 2019 Alfa Romeo Giulia TI Sport. Then it gets transformed. Now, as you can see up front, right on the hood here is your IMSA livery, all right? So you do see the serpent right here, right in the middle for the Alfa Romeo logo, all right? And then you do see the white stripes with the black finish right along the sides here and the black to go along to top it off right down the center. Wow, does this look incredible. Now you also see along the sides, which will go down in just a second, the white stripe with the IMSA F1 logo there as well. Now, not to get too far ahead of ourselves up front, we will see the Trilobo Scudetto grill done in carbon fiber, all right? The whole thing is carbon. How crazy does that look? And we're not done because those stripes will continue on to the front fascia here, where you will see the white and black to continue on throughout that livery. You pay attention to detail and this is what you get. Now, you do see the sport front fascia right there as well, but you have something to accompany it, which is a carbon fiber front lip. Look at how cool that looks as just that much more aggressive, that much more racing flavor to the front end of this car. Such a crazy look. Now we've seen the 19 inch five hole wheels before, but we have not seen them in Mystic Lava, which is a metallic blue that you guys can see here. Has kind of like a blue tint to it, all right? And you can see the metallic flake all throughout. Watch it sparkle as I move it around. That is crazy. Now you do see the Alpha Man insignia right there in the middle and with the yellow calipers with black script. That looks so cool together with the Alpha Rosso and carbon fiber throughout. So this is a custom color that you guys can see on these wheels. And wow, do I miss seeing these wheels on Julia's. We don't see them much anymore in the 2022 model range, only on the Quadrifoglio models. So yes, that is something we have not seen before. Now, coming along the side of the front fender here, you'll see the Alfa Romeo racing since 1910 and the Italian flag there as well. All right, to continue off this livery to show you some things that, you know, just gives it that whole racing flavor. And then the carbon fiber mirror caps, as you guys can see, with the black window moldings and the rest of that white kind of livery going all the way across to the rear. I mean, wow, look at that. It looks really cool. Even going up the panoramic roof here and the white strip going all the way across, it just gives it that much more depth, that much more styling. Now, if you thought the front had a lot of drama and aggression, look at the rear of this car. It's insane. Now, we're going to start back up with the graphics and the livery here. Now, this, this white is actually a matte white, all right? So it's got a soft texture to it. It's not a gloss. It's actually a matte. And then you can see that as it's cut out specifically to fit the serpent here, all right? And the serpent is just really based on the color of the actual car, the Alfa Rosso, all right? So that looks really cool the way that that was done. And then once you continue down the side here, you'll see the very famous wheel arches, all right? So those are from the Alfa Romeo Giulia GTA, all right? So you can see them done in carbon fiber over the wheel, but we can't forget 
about the side skirts right here in the back to match up that same aesthetic. So the carbon fiber side skirts right here to go with the wheel arches, just so much more aggression, so much more racing flavor. I love the way that this looks. Now coming to the big elephant in the room. Yes, the spoiler from the GTAM is fitted to this car. And look at that aggression. Look at that presence. That is just something incredible. You see the rest of the livery going all the way across with the Italian flag that's right underneath as well in the Alfa Romeo insignia. But this carbon fiber spoiler, I mean, wow, looks so good. Julia badge done in black. It's just such an incredible look. We pay attention to the small details here. So you do have the license plate frame with the Alfa Man insignia done in carbon fiber as well. And then you guys are used to the more aggressive rear diffuser for the sport models, all right? And you have the honeycomb texture around the exhaust tip. Just an amazing looking spec. But just looking up at this, how crazy does that look? I think that this will probably be my favorite part about this. The Q2 badge looks good in black and red. All right, the Julia badge looks good, the livery looks good, but that spoiler is just something incredible. Probably the best part of this car, in my opinion. If you guys didn't notice the stance of this car, looking at it, it's a little bit wider, right? 20 millimeter spacers on each side with these wheel arches to give it a more aggressive stance for the wheels and tires. Now, you'll also notice coming behind here that this wheel arch actually is functional. You can see airflow come through here as well, all right? So it's actually a feed through there. There is a hole cut out there for that wheel arch. Again, just an amazing look. When you look at this thing, stance-wise, aesthetically, I mean, the color combo, this is just something you've never seen and probably will never see out on the road unless you come out here to Daytona Beach. Now, if you guys are wondering for exhaust-wise, we did remove the muffler on this. Uh, resonator is still there, but we're gonna give you a little bit of sound, driving sound for this car because the muffler delete gives it a little bit more roar. We know that the two liter alphas do suffer from a muted exhaust, but we're gonna let you hear this one and see what you think about the muffler delete. Right, guys so what did you think about this super unique alfa romeo julia here mixed with f1 racing mixed with the gtam i mean this thing is insane i definitely want you guys to leave your comments below what's your favorite part about this julia again since we can't see the cars here in the united states this is as close as we're gonna get so with that said drop those comments down below let me know what you guys love about it you guys know I love that carbon fiber wing. Now with that said, if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Giving the video a like will help get it up in the rankings. More people can see it. And we can have a bigger discussion on this Alfa Romeo F1 Racing and GTA M Conversion Julia. Now with that said, if you guys wanna help further support the channel, always check the links down below. I have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, my Cash App, and my Venmo. Just in case you guys wanna donate a dollar or two to the channel, I appreciate that love and support. Thank you so much. You can also check out the Ron's Rise merch. You guys want fanny packs, Kango hats, backpacks, stickers, everything Ron's Rise is there. And I'm also on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, see everything I'm posting, Ferrari, Maserati, and Alfa Romeo. It doesn't always make it here to the channel. But make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click that notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, you guys be blessed, have a great day, and we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.